this thing working? I think I've got it wrong way around, have I? Oh no, there we go. Much, much cuter than Rupert. This is Hobo 2. And this is Triple Brutal James. Welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. So today, uh, Dan has got COVID. So uh, for content, I am helping him out with his video. So this morning we're going to go and do a long slow run uh, we're going to aim for about sort of three hours 20 miles something like that but we'll see how we go i'm at the end of a recovery week so you never quite know how your legs are going to uh, respond uh, so i'm going to go and do a loop and then i'll come back uh, and give you an update of how i've gone on and i shall speak to you later by the way have i ever told you about the time i did the triple brutal hiya so that's uh 16 miles done in two and a half hours I just called in home to give you a quick update and uh, nip to the loo so i've just got my last four miles to do uh which is awful obviously as you all know um but that's why we do the first 16 mile isn't it so that we can suffer the last four and uh, get that adaptation that we're all after so i'll go and finish my run and then uh, i'll see you in a bit oh yeah that by the way hang on that is where me and dan triathlon dan did the hope route uh there he is in there and the medal and whatnot i try to uh, have pictures of all the stuff that i've done to keep me motivated i no doubt you lot do the same see you later okay so that's uh ride done and dusted oh no sorry run done and dusted uh, trying to be a triathlon down but it's not as easy as you think it's really quite difficult so stats now on screen ish can you see that who knows so that's uh just over 20 mile in just over three hours uh, let's have a look how i did yeah all right so that's like 91 percent 92 percent zone uh, zone two which is what i was after uh ran a f ran up a few hills which normally i would have walked up to keep my heart rate down but obviously i'm just coming off a recovery week so i'm feeling quite fresh so uh, so yeah so that's 20.13 miles in three hours and nine minutes so that's an average of 923 which is plenty quick enough for me probably quicker than race pace uh, so i'm pleased with that so i'm off now to a uk bike fit okay so here we are at uh, Velo Bavarian, uh, the home of UK Bike Fit, as well as our obviously local bike shop. I'm here for a, a bike fit that Triathlon Dan and uh, Dan at uh, UK Bike Fit have organised for me. Uh, so uh, I'll show you some clips in there uh, and I'll just grab my stuff and I'll see you later. Hello, the Triple Brutal James uh, takeover of Triathlon Dan continues. I'm uh, here now with uh, Dan from UK Bike Fit. All right. Hello, and we are going to make uh, that thing fit this thing for a long way. Okay, so we're going to go for a physical assessment. Uh, Dan's asked me all about my aches and pains, so uh, they are basically just that. When I was younger, I had a pin in my hip, so uh, one of my legs is a little bit shorter than the other, and I broke my shoulder. Uh, a couple of years ago uh, and so that might affect the fit and Dan is now just going to do his physiotherapy bit and have a look at me. Just been talking to James about sort of the problems that he's had from uh, from previous with broken bones and surgeries and things and you've not really found him a big deal have you you've just sort of got on with him. They and, haven't uh, bothered me. Exactly yeah. yeah so come to have a look at James and, and a few things just take, take, take us by surprise a bit don't they, I guess so um, so James had a lot of trouble with his ankles and I'm hopefully hopefully you can pick that up on camera but there's a lot of instability in james's ankle um you've had a couple of fractures down there and especially in the, in the tibia and fibula as well and in the and in the foot itself and lots of twisted ankles so very unstable um and then when we have a look at you on your feet yeah yes so here i am on my feet and here we are here are james's feet so <laughs> You can probably see James' ankles are very inward, very pronated, arches are very flat, um, especially when this is just you stood normally. I tend to look at look at people with a bit more pressure through the foot during a during a squat. Um, when James does his yes, when James does his squat and puts more pressure through his feet, 
his ankles are so far pronated and arches are so far collapsed that there's actually not a lot of room room for maneuver anyway so in a way it's quite a stable position but the the position of the foot is uh, is a bit different to average I would say <laughs> so um so that's something to look at Dan at UK Bike Fit is now talking about uh, getting my shoes right and he has discovered something wrong again yes he's found something I've been doing wrong for a change with the shoes that I had and I'm going to uh, just show you you've almost corrected it haven't you really because <laughs> The, the shoes on the right there, those S works. Those, those are what you've been riding for for a long while, um, and you just bought these bonds a, a while back. Uh, yeah. So we've seen James's feet, and we've seen how flat and wide his feet are. In fact, just put you. So the shape of James's foot is very very straight. There isn't much of a a curvature through here around the ankle where these shoes narrow in. Whereas with the bonds. They're much straighter and much flatter. The sole of the shoe is much more suited to your foot. So, um, so we're going to stick with those for the event, aren't we? Yes, definitely. That looks good. Okay, so Dan has uh, completed the uh, road bike fit. So he set my bike up so that it was perfect for me in a normal road bike position. And then we've got some clip-on bars and an adjustable seat post. Uh, the clip-on bars are actually a little bit low and I'm gonna look for an alternative product with some stack height underneath. Uh, but the road fit position is absolutely perfect. And we are now moving on to fitting my TT bike in uh, getting it ready for ultra sort of distance comfort and um, everything's going really well thank you so this is the before shot so the main the main thing that you can pick out of that is james's shoulders and he did say you get to you're getting a few shoulder angles now that you've increased the distance a bit and you quite you look like you're shrugging your shoulders basically you're shortening all your muscles down right up and around the, the top of your shoulders into your neck and the shoulder blades have uh, have risen up um so if we flick to the Click to the after shot. So this is where we've ended up. Um, we've made a lot of changes to your, your cleats and your, and your saddle, but the biggest difference is again around your shoulders. So your shoulders have been able to drop down. We've had to shorten the stem a fair bit and then lower the, the spacer stack at the front just to allow your shoulders to relax. And we've played around with the angle of your shifters as well to get your hands in a much better position. But, um, but yeah, good result with that. Okay, so. Uh, you'll see from the preceding footage that uh, we've started a fit on my time trial bike uh, and I'm going to uh, have a chat with Dan and he's going to tell us the changes that we've made and Dan will probably overlay some of this over the video that we've got. So, what did we do, Dan? The main, well, the main thing we've done already is the saddle bike. Your saddle was really, really high, whether that's uh, been tweaked since your last fit. You've had a fit on this before, haven't you? A long time ago, yeah. A long yeah. time ago. Um, so the saddle had gone down about 25 mil in total because you said when you first got on you said i can feel my calf overworking and uh you were you were just using your ankle Dan, Daniel, Daniel, uh, other Daniel put the footage over this so you can see what's going on but your your ankle was as soon as you move the saddle down your quads and your glutes can engage a little bit more your calf gets a little bit of rest which obviously for, for what you're going to be doing yeah uh with your ultra try um that's important so the front end of the bike needs... We didn't have as much success with this. No, it need, needs a bit more adjustment. So you've got your you've got a shoulder problem uh, where you've broken your collarbone. You, your arms basically need to come a little bit wider. The equipment that we've got on the front end at the minute doesn't allow that. So we're going to have a little bit of a, a look around for some wider wider bars um, and then come back and finish off. Aren't the we? benefit of that, of course, is it means I'll be able to fit a bigger food bag in between the arms. Yeah. More so jelly babies. Yeah, more jelly babies, so that'll be handy. Uh, but the bikes, both bikes, feel 100% better already. So, superb. Thank you. No worries. Yeah, so anyway, I did this uh, race. I don't know if you've heard about it. It's called the Triple Brutal. Uh, it's three times longer than yeah, any you race. said three it. times. I, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to mention it. <laughs> Hello, so you join me in uh, the Shred Shed, as uh, me and Kate call it. Uh, just doing a very gentle half an hour spin in the hope of getting a little bit of that uh, stiffness out of my legs from the uh, long run this morning and then that should set me up nice for the longer club ride uh, tomorrow so it will literally be uh, probably less than 150 watts average I would have thought so something really easy so how's today been well I have a newfound respect for Dan, 
it is incredibly difficult to record these clips and trying to remember and remember what to say um, whether he can mattle anything together and turn it into a video for more but we've done on my long run and then at the bike fit with Dan Smith at UK Bike Fit hopefully Dan can put something together and uh, make a video worthy of you guys to watch so an update on uh, the training um, it's been going pretty good I've just come off a uh, recovery week uh, where I've done probably about half the volume that I would have done normally and that uh, recovery week was I was certainly ready for it uh, previous to that I'd done three weeks where I've probably averaged about 20 hours training uh, per week uh, so the plan now is um, I'll have uh, a two biggish two week block um, which will involve probably stepping up the training a little bit um, I should be hitting probably four hours a week swimming uh, in those two weeks uh, and hopefully 200 to 250 mile on the bike and then probably the run will remain um, sort of around 40 uh, mile a week maybe slightly over it just depends and that's going to culminate in Manchester Marathon which is I think two weeks tomorrow and my plan is is to make the marathon uh, as difficult uh, and uncomfortable as possible um, just to make sure that I can get round and be able to eat and drink on my way round uh, probably not try to set any sort of records maybe try and get round in I don't know what five to six hours probably I would have thought with a little bit of walking through the A stations um, just to get myself used to being on my feet for that sort of length of time so that'll be a tough couple of weeks and then I'll have a slightly easier week and then hopefully I'll be going abroad for a little bit of cycling uh, and get some big miles in uh, in Grand Canaria hopefully um, <clears throat> the support from uh, Dan triathlon Dan has been amazing it's lovely to hear uh, the comments that you guys put on and it does make a difference definitely um, update for you on the sort of charity stuff that I was talking about um, it's still uh, in the developmental stage but in typical triathlon down and triple brutal James fashion it's gone from you know a three to a ten uh, overnight so the uh, council are uh, talking to partners and are going to try and get some sort of other fundraising going as soon as I've got anything to tell you concrete I'll let you know and it should be really exciting <laughs> if not a little embarrassing for me I would have thought um, so we'll just keep going and uh, see how we go so I'm just uh, watching a trial on Dan video while I'm on the turbo always good entertainment for the turbo um, we're just I'm just watching the time-lapse one where Dan took part in uh, a timed race around a, a track with a mixed ability group um, Clearly, obviously, one member was a model, um, and then of course there was Matt and Lee as well as Dan. Um, that reminds me, could Dan, could you please edit the footage to take out the shot that I've just done with my t-shirt off? Because uh, I look like a merchant sailor with his horrible tattoos, and my mother would not approve. Uh, so if you could remove that, would be great. So I'm just basically coming to the end of my half an hour spin. And then I'm going to go and drop the camera off back down at Dan's. Maybe peek through the window, see if we can catch Liz wiping her nose on a shirt or something. And Dan probably eating a, I don't know, bag of Maltesers and a pizza, I would guess. And then um, I'll hand off the camera to him and uh, I'll see you all again sometime soon. Uh, so this is Triple Boodle James signing off from the takeover of Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Bye.